And today I'm going to be reacting to the fifth episode of Life's a Breeze, A Royal Mess. So in the last episode, Light Breeze met the love interest. <laughs> I forgot his name already, but it will be reminded. <laughs> Mythic Hope, I think. No, it was Mythic Hope. It was Mythic Hope, I believe. Right, okay. His name was Mythic Hope. And they met in the in the town area and, and she was yeah she was scolded by her parents <laughs> uh, yeah most of that episode was blind because Celestia only had a bit of um, dialogue but I believe this episode isn't completely blind because I do remember having a little script reading session a while back for this particular episode so uh, this episode isn't completely blind and that's the reason why. And I think Celestia and Luna have a few more lines in this particular episode. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to dig right into the finished product of this episode in 3, 2, 1, and play. And there's Snoopy's disclaimer. The events of Life's a Breeze was written before the season 9 premiere, and any continuity errors should be accepted as an alternate universe I like to call the Lightverse. Enjoy the show! Previously on Life's a Breeze. And My here's the... Mythical. Yeah, his name his name was Mythic. Is breezy. It's almost every pony's dream at one point in their life. And She's the art from the last episode was really pretty. Being a princess. That's just why you gotta make the best of it, you know? Yeah. We have strict orders to follow, and you two are violating those orders. That doesn't give you the right to just apprehend him like that. He hasn't done anything wrong. You're in trouble too, little lady. So it's best to just stick to your place. You Oof. do take orders from me. By order of Princess Light Breeze. So, you're the, uh, princess? Yes. I've got she a is the princess. You had your fun, but you're still in trouble for sneaking off on your own. Breezy, I do this because I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I'll get we to those get Skype messages later. <laughs> Maybe if we had no, there's me and Celestia. To of her, we wouldn't have to worry so much. Pfizer. That's it! <laughs> Why didn't I think of it before? I know a solution that will solve everything. What you got there, Mother? Mythic, I think we just found our ticket to getting what's rightfully ours. Uh, I don't know about this. I'm not sure I want And then the audio drama I went Lion King 2 on us. Everything I do is for the greater good. Well, I mean, you know, that's how I viewed it anyways. Snoopy 7C7 presents... Here's the opening, with the picture and the opening music. And all the different uh, VAs and stuff. Cover up by Optimus Prime. Hmm. The intro was much quicker this time. I guess because the episode's about half an hour long, so that would make a lot of sense. No, no, no. Oh, I no, remember no. this in the no, sneak young peek. Lady, you're going to do this, like it or not. Your father has worked very hard to do this for you, love. <sighs> but mom, it's not fair. <laughs> the angsty, the angsty, whiny teenager. Dear, we're doing this for you. With this, you'll be able to go out into your own without me, your father, or any of the guards, like you've wanted. But it literally defeats the purpose of what I want, to do things on my own. And you will that be able to do more things. I actually than agree with uh, sure. Light Breeze. I'll be on my own. <laughs> Alongside someone watching over my neck 24 7. Light, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. You'll see it's not going to be so bad. Promise me you'll give it a try. <sighs> I will. There we go. We're here. Look at you, Breezy. 
You look so beautiful. Thanks, Dad. Now come along. It's time we get this event started. Hey, it's going to be all right. You'll see. I like, uh, how Light Breeze's hair is tied Announcing up into a ponytail. the host of this event, King Sombra and Queen Celestia with their daughter, Princess Light Breeze. Along with Queen Luna and her personal knight, Nova Slumber, and their daughter, Aurora Slumber. There we go. Oh, there's... <laughs> That's right. Clap and cheer along, every pony. Radiant herp watching from the My distance. Son, the time Evilly. has come. I can hear them now. You know what to do. I do. <sighs> I've waited so long for this moment. Now, at some point, they will have to take a break, and when they do, I will release then our little friend. I've oh, already dear. trained it to go after the princess, and when the time's right, you do your thing. I won't let you down. Soon, my son. Very soon. Now go! And the plan goes into action. Oh, hey, it's Next shooting stars art. Giving his best display of chivalry. I always he takes the plate to fire his bow and arrow at the target. Love the expressions. And... Oh, oh no! He dropped his arrows all over the plate. Just, Let's see if he I look how oh. light. How okay. light breeze is just so one. done. All right. Here and then Aurora goes. is he enjoying aims. herself. Ah. Well, Thorn, he gave it his best shot. Good luck next time, kid. Oh, that bull oh, stallion. The poor lad. <laughs> and there's that annoying thank you, Thorn Arrow. <laughs> but it's time we move on. Oh, thank you, my queen. <laughs> I can't tell you how honored I am to take on this opportunity. <laughs> this is the when I first interpreted <laughs> interpreted this scene, I originally thought that I promise to be he was like Celestia's ex-boyfriend or something. Like, a short break it's time we move on. We thank you for returning, but no, I'm together with this. <laughs> this stallion now. <laughs> no, yes, how wrong I was, lol. <laughs> Just so, imagine if Celestia had an ex boyfriend. <laughs> new guard. You got me. I mean, they were okay for the most part. But others. <laughs> we all have dreams. Let's not crush his. Hey, it's Light and Aurora. Look, they're coming this way. Let's go say hi to them, Frosty. You too, Rumble. Uh, whatever. Oh, hey, Flurry Hot. Light, Aurora, how are you coping so far? Could be worse. <laughs> Ponies. Always needing some pony else to help protect them. Dragons are far better at self defense. That's why I don't need anybody watching over my back 24 7. Oh my gosh. I beg your pardon, Sir Rumble. But we can take care of ourselves just as well as any other creature. And if I don't recall hearing a certain dragon almost plummeting to his doom, if it weren't for his mother to swoop in and save him. Whatever. <laughs> I think that's a uh, Ember's son. <laughs> but I don't know who the father is for that character. So, Aurora, did you notice Frost's new antlers? Why do I? I remember him getting worried that his antlers would never come in. And look at him now. This is pretty odd. Makes him look more masculine. Handsome even, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, someone's hey, got a crush. He's waving. Go over to him. What? I love that her uh, cutie mark is just a couple so of zeds. Nice. And I'm so awkward. I'm only two years younger than him. You'll think I'm a little silly. Aurora, his best friend is a little full. I think you're good. Now go on. They're just gonna have a Hi, Princess Light. an awkward Hello, conversation, no. Light, Light, look, look at here. Light, look what we have for you. Aw, you made this yourself? We stomp on flowers! <laughs> to stick to planet pieces. This is beautiful. Thank you. Light, is it true you're getting a bodyguard? Well, um, sort of. That's so cool. I can't imagine having a pony guard. Yak, no need guard body. Yeah, we guard our own body. 
Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, uh oh. Timberwolf. All of those seas that were just unleashed. Star! No! Get out of there! Look! Go to your parents! Now! Ooh, this is this is cool. Got some cool animatic animation. Whoa! Uh, no! I gotta find it. Whoa! Light. Light. This looks so hey, cool. Big and ugly. It's like why a, don't you pick on someone your own it's like side? An anime battle. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Hey, you all right, princess? Yes. Shipping. A light. Dad. My baby. Mom. I'm fine, really. I'm just a little dizzy from the spill. I think my vision's starting to come too. You saved her. Well, I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. That was some pretty reckless faking back there. But you were brilliant. Thank you, King Sombra. Oh, look Ladies at his and gentle face. Folks, creatures of all types. I give you our newest addition to the royal crew, Princess Light Breeze's personal royal squire. And there we go. He has succeeded with the plan. What? Uh, Light Breeze doesn't seem too happy about this. What's your this. name, lad? Mythic. Mythic Hope. Your first task is to get all of your belongings and settle in. Doing a little transportation spell of the things. Alright, Mom. I'm in. Maybe he was just sending a message to his mother. That would have been possible, too. Oh, off Are to the you doctors. Sure you're okay? For the millionth time, Mom, I'm fine. I was just a little dizzy from the spell. Nothing to fuss so much about. She's going to be fine, right? Nothing serious? Uh, the overprotective mom, which is Celestia. I can assure you, my queen, that the young princess is in no real harm. I suggest, however, that she rests in her room for the rest of the day. Is she okay? The doctor said she's perfectly fine, but there is one thing. What's that? Oh, here comes the song from Tangled. I remember doing this in the the script reading and everyone was just singing in completely different keys <laughs> and it was quite funny <laughs> of course in the in the finished product everyone's singing in harmony and it's fine okay let's hear them all all three of them sing together Save what has been lost. Bring back what once was mine. I added a little harmony there because, uh, you know, I'm an alto, so I thought, why not add a harmony? And that actually sounded quite good. <laughs> I'm happy with how that turned out. That that sounded nice. Oh, sneeze? Nope. I thought there was going to be a sneeze. Oh, there's the sneeze. <laughs> It's like, I'm gonna sneeze, nope, and then it comes. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way into checking your magic. It's not my fault for being so powerful. Oh my gosh, you got you some young lady. animation there, nice. It's not bad that you have this much power. 
It just means that you've been destined for so much potential. But if I didn't have this much power, you might not have given me a squire to watch over my back 24-7, and I wouldn't have to hide in the castle like some freak! Oof. Also, we're just in a white room. Light. The walls have disappeared. Do you remember the first time we went ice skating? Yeah, I slipped on the ice. And we're not wanting to walk on. And the bed has been chopped in half! But after a little practice, I finally <laughs> let you I'm, go I'm, on I mean, your own no, because I knew joke. you were ready. Dad, what does ice skating have to do with any of this? Breezy. I know you're 16, and yes, you can do some things on your own. But okay, like she's ice 16 skating, now. there are still some things that you can't do by yourself. You still need some practice, and you still have a lot more stuff to learn. You're not a freak just because your mane glows. I know you're going to be able to master this magic you hold. But there are ponies out there who will take advantage of that power and will try to hurt you just oh, to have it. Oh, you're making her cry, Sombra. It's only one squire. And if you remember correctly from your history lessons, squires don't only offer protection, but friendship too. And what is Aunt Twilight the queen of? Friendship. Oh my gosh, I You'll love that animation! Enough, having a squire I think that's by Kimmy Arts? Yeah, you. yeah, that's it. That's the artist. Hey, promise me you'll give this a chance, and if you I still remember don't the like it by the gala, animation from you don't have to have a personal squire uh, Episode anymore. 3, I think. Deal? Hmm. Deal. I think there was some animation in Episode 4 as well. Yeah, I think there was. So, since this all ended so early, think I could go out? Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Oh, more animation! I love it so much! <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, even some animation with Sombra. Besides, you heard the doctor's orders. You are to rest in your room for the rest of the day. Okay. That's perfect. This will oh, give you the chance to acquaint I yourself with that. your new squad. I love that expression of Sombra. Sounds fun! We'll send them up right away. Alright, the sunset is happening. <laughs> and there's the bird flying off. It's actually a pretty cool sunset, not gonna lie. It's a pretty dramatic one. Yes! Genius, my boy! Absolutely genius! So much dumb enough fluff. to run into her own trap! <laughs> now listen close. Oh. You're in, so don't blow it. I want to know Things just everything. got ominous with all this all darkness. And anything we can use against them. More importantly, gain the king's trust. Yeah, sure, totally. Good. I'll be expecting monthly reports and occasional visits. Why can't you just visit? I mean, if any pony at the castle knows me, then surely they won't know who you are. Yeah, about it that. Matter. After all, you don't want to disappoint your poor old mummy, do you? No, of course not, mother. I won't lay you down. Good. Now, off you go. I look forward to what you uncover. And off he goes. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Maybe he's picking some flowers. Okay. Now this ought to make a good impression. <laughs> I hope she likes them. Who goes there? State your identification. Um, I'm the. Oh my uh, gosh, that expression. Squire? That expression is so cute. Let the lad through. I've been expecting him. Oh, and there's Sombra. With his luscious hair. Your Majesty. Uh, these are for you. Or, um, for light if you don't want them. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Mythic, was it? 
Your duty as a squire is simple. You are to watch over Princess Lightbreeze. You are entitled to her safety and to be sure to be there for her as one of her most trusted guides. Her safety comes first before anything else. Oh, well, you have my word. Good. Because if there is oh. ever a day where you go behind not only her trust, but mine, oh, dear. you'll wish you have never set foot in Canterlot. Got it? That's quite yes, intimidating. Your majesty. <laughs> it's like an overprotective father first meeting the room, boyfriend. You are to report to Princess it's, Lightbreeze it's like room that to acquaint yourself since you will be spending time trip. together. Nova here will help escort you to your new living space. Of course, Your Majesty. Hmm. Hey! Don't fret. I'm just going to wash this up for you. Besides, since you are the Princess's Squire now, the tailor will be giving you something all squires wear. <laughs> that little ear twitch. Well, thank you, Your Highness, but if you don't mind, after you're done cleaning it, could I, uh, have it back? Oh, look at that now cute little facial expression. Ah, I'm commenting a lot on the facial expressions of the art, but... <laughs> oh, there's another one I can comment on. <laughs> I just love all the facial expressions. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Come along, young one. It's time to say hello to your new home. See, that's the thing. The person who plays Sombra is also the same person who plays Nova, and I play both Celestia and Luna. So there's that little. Uh, not only her trust, but mine. You'll wish you had never set foot in Canterlot. Got it. There's that little cool thing, I guess. Your room is right here, just across from Princess Light's room. What dumb luck, huh? I bet you'll be so shocked to see me. <laughs> oh, there's... What am I to do, Vanellope? Light being a whiny teenager again. Uh, I am not being overly dramatic. You think I have acting skills? Have you seen my mom? <sighs> Come oh, on. it's so cute that what she has a pet phoenix. Who? Ah. Vanellope, I thought you were with me on this. <laughs> I think it's time to get you checked out again. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you better tend to the door, Light Who Breeze. Is it? Your new squire, Princess Light. Brushing the overflowing hair. Enter. Wow. Nice place you got here. Hmm. Light Breeze looks unimpressed. And then we've got the love hearts. Someone's developing feelings and cue the shipping. And more facial expressions to add to the collection of facial expressions I've been commenting. Princess, by order of King Sombra, I have been appointed to be your personal squire. I will be sure to take this title very seriously while under you. Your Highness, it is such an honor to meet your queen. <laughs> Oh, Light Breeze is not having Listen, it. I'm gonna be straight with you. You're not gonna boss me around. Just because the king has placed an order doesn't mean I don't get a say so in the matter. After all, I'm the. Oh. Uh, I'm Mythic Blue Hope. <laughs> Your new squire. Ta da! So it is you. She You're the boy I met at recognizes the him finally. <laughs> You'll address me as Princess Light. At least for now. I I'm sorry. Is something wrong? Oh, and she's got oh, feelings for him know. too. I'm oh, it's so cute. Willing to be a friend. Instead, I find out he's just another cancer lot snob who lied to me. 
<laughs> Excuse me? But oh. I don't think you're making the best second impression. Besides, you weren't being honest yourself, your highness. I had just oh met my you. Gosh. I couldn't trust some pony on the street. There are weirdos out there. Says the girl who wasn't supposed to be out in the first place. He does have a oh, point. Really? And who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? As of today, your new squire. Then I'll see to it to give you the worst time while you're here. You Oof. Know, for the princess? So much for the shipping. Rude. <laughs> I'm kidding. And you're just a precious little saint, huh? Well, if I were you, I'd get used to it because this is your new life. Huh. That's perfectly fine by me. With my new title, I'll personally see to it that you follow every single rule the king has set for you until you're repeating it in your sleep. Go ahead. I'd like to see you try and control me, the princess. A princess with a squire! Say what you please. Uh -huh. I don't care if I'm stuck with you for the rest of my life. More we'll never be friends. Awesome facial Pets. expressions. Fine by me. Fine! 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 Fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh getting along a welcoming gift. And it I uh hope you're ready, princess. Thank Badly. You. I'll be ready, squire. Great! You done I, goofed, Light Breeze. So After all, I did promise Dad I'd give this a chance. <sighs> okay, fine. Tomorrow, I'll take him on a tour of the castle. I'll apologize to him then. He got you flowers and everything, and this is how you repay him? Don't I feel like a jerk? Yeah, instant regret. There we go. <laughs> so much for being excited to see me, huh? <gasps> Ooh, cool room you have, wow. Mythic. It's so smooth. This is great. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing! A real bed, so warm and welcoming. <laughs> uh, his excitement is adorable. Wow. So there's Luna. And her daughter. And it becomes night just <sighs> like that. He's got a little teddy bear. And a look at oh with him and his mum. Won't let you down. Now how am I supposed to get the king's trust when his daughter wants nothing to do with me? Yeah, just think about that in the morning when you've rested up. That'll Unexpected turnaround is the next episode. Nice. Artist. Icy Dark Flame. Pichu1129. Karina Flora Line. Shooting Star. Yeah, that was Shooting Star. Sammy Sardine. And that was Snoopy's art. Kitty Agent 1. The music's quite loud, but eh. Little Luna 099. Hokapari DA. That art was pretty cool. Nago Lucky Art. That crazy German. I'm actually going to turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, that was white. Yeah, that was white quartz, the artist. Recognize that art. A dirty Jinx. Oh yeah, freshly baked. I keep forgetting that last name for some reason. A sun Flutterbug 18. Dragon the Creeper 1. Athena Moon 5862. Artistic Cupcakes. Mythical Artist. That art was pretty cool. Choco Butt. Choco Butt? Is it? Dragon the Creeper 1 again. 
Chur chirp button center. Lime Dazzle, that art was cool. Evelyn Cat. Artistic Works. Aqua Pegasus. And then we have the voice actors, and there's me in the little thing. Snoopy is Light Breeze. Jacob Gordon is Mythic. Mia is Celestia. Song Artists, Princess Aurora, the credits are going past so fast. <laughs> I just realized that this is an original song. And I think this this sounds like it was probably done by Oh, that was Speedy Tempo, nice. And then the credits are still going on. Cause there's still more credits to go through. Yay. Oh yes, and then we've got the animation by Yeah, that was Kimmy Art. That was amazing animation. I really liked that. And then this section, Angsty Ram. Oh, okay, that's who it is. Co-director, Jacob Gorham. Yeah, created by Snoopy7C7. I think that original song was done by Colors. Yeah, that, that's how, uh, what he goes by now. But he also does some original songs for Love and Kindness. That's probably where I've uh, heard that thing from. But as soon as it said Life's a Breeze, and I'm like, okay, that definitely sounded like an original song right there. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a really cool episode. I loved the animation uh, that was put in there. That was quite the surprise. Uh, also, I could not comment enough on all of the amazing facial expressions the artist did for this particular episode. I mean, I was like semi-blind in terms of voice acting, but then I was blind blind when it came to uh, the art and how the expressions on each of the characters would look. That That's that's actually like the really, you know, cool thing, <laughs> you know, about audio dramas. Like reading a script and getting from getting the information out of that but then it leaves a completely different impression on you once you see the full thing with the sound effects and the music and the art <laughs> and I think that's just really cool so it pretty much gave me that impression after the script reading session we did a while back and then seeing the finished episode like this it was just absolutely amazing <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm I don't really, I don't think I had too many issues with this episode. It was pretty cool. I really liked it, <laughs> let's just say. I mean, there wasn't too much in the way of sound design, but I guess that wasn't really too much of a problem. There was not really anything you could critique on that anyway, so it wasn't too much of an issue. There was just so much art, so I could obviously already see what was going on, so. I mean, as for the exception of, like, <laughs> the, the guy shooting the arrows, but the way that it sh was just shot at uh, Aurora and Light Breeze, it I think that worked well too, because it kind of left some interpretation, and it just made the scene even funnier <laughs> to me. So I think, yeah, I think that's all I have to commentate for this particular episode. Um, so again awesome work on the episode Snoopy and everyone else involved and I am looking forward to the next episode when that will come out and that will be very interesting and uh, yes and wait for Mythic and Light Breeze to uh, <laughs> get shipped even more I think I'm definitely ending the commentary there because I don't want to drag on but Thank you everyone for watching this commentary and uh, go like the original video and subscribe to Snoopy if you haven't already. And yeah, anyways, bye! This is Moose Script signing out.